Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to learn about structure. And structure is a group of data placed under one name with a memory block. Now, why do we use this? If at all I want to group some data and get an information about it, for example, information about an employee or information about student, all these things contain more number of data, right? So if I want to group everything and give it a single name for it under a memory block, I'll be using structure. People from C, C++ or Java background, you should be knowing what is struct. You would have been used in your programming language. But people from Python background, it's something alien to you. I want you to listen to it. Let me give an example to make you understand how to create structure and how to use it. Let me take the important things that is required for any Go programming language. Now before that, I have to create a structure. To create a structure, I'll be using the keyword type followed by the structure name. Let me take employee and followed by the keyword struct. Now here let me create uh, a name of an employee, let it be of type string and ID of an employee, let, let it be of type integer and the salary of an employee, let it be of type float. Right. So I'm having three data to provide an information about employee, that is your the name of the employee, ID of the employee and salary that the employee is going to get. So for this, I need to create a variable for it. So how to create a variable? I'll say var emp. Emp is my structure variable that I'm going to create of type employee. Right. Now I've created a variable. Now if I want to initialize the value for this variable, I need to say an assignment operator for the employee type. I'm going to create some data. So what are the data? First is the name. I, sh I should not change the order if I'm going to give uh, information there because it needs to store in the same order. I'll say 123 and the salary. All right, let me try to print it. fmt.println and I'll say emp. Let me save this and run this for you. I'll say go run struct example. It gives you the name of the employee. The ID of the employee and the salary right now if I'm not sure about what order the my data is given here inside my struct but I know what are the data that I'm going to give I can just say if I, if I want to mix the order I can do it or if I want to give it a different order if I'm not sure about the order I can use this procedure what I have to do is that I'll just say ID followed by the ID that I'm going to give and name colon followed by the name and finally salary followed by the salary right so if I'm not sure about the order in which my data are present inside my structure I can give just the element name of it or the variable name and followed by the value right the variable name colon followed by the value I can also give in this way right if at all you are not sure about the order right you still get the same answer this is how I initialize right I declare a structure variable and then initialize it right if I want to get input yes I can do that let me tell you how to get input for that so I'll say var emp employee and to get input to access any of the structure element right if I want to access any of these are called as elements of structure right name ID and salary all call as structure elements now, if I want to access any of the structure elements, I cannot access anything without the help of the structure variable, right? If I want to access any of these elements, I need to use a structure variable. Let me get input with scan. And I'll say Emerson emp dot name. This is how I need to get. So, if I want to get input for ID, I'll say Emerson emp dot id and if i want to get input for salary i'll say emerson emp dot salary right so to access any of the structure element i may need to use a structure variable and followed by the dot right this is how i access the structure element i cannot access it directly let me save it and run it for you so it's asking for my input let me give name first input is name samuel ID and then let me give the salary as 10,000. So you got the output, right? 
This is how I get input for my structure with the help of scan. This for one employee, right? If I'm going to have more than one employee, I can go for array of structure. This is a normal structure. I can also go for an array of structure. Let me tell you how to use an array of structure. To create an array of structure, I'll be saying right uh, here, I'll say EMP of three. For example, if I'm going to get input for three employees, right? So this is an array of structure, three employees over there. Let me use a for loop to get the input. Let me say for I assign zero, I less than three, and I say I plus plus. And let me take this here from here and put it here. And here I cannot use EMP because it's an array now. It is not a normal variable, it is a array variable now. So when it's an array variable, I need to use the index to access it. I'll say EMP of i. Here I'll say EMP of i. So here I can get information about three employees for my uh, employee database, right? So let me run, clear the screen and run it for you. First information, let me say Samuel 123 and 9000. And next I'll say Edison 124 and 8000. And I'll say Jordan 125 and 7000. So you got three information, three employee informations, right? So everything comes under an array. You can see the brackets here. It comes under an array. So first information is about Samuel. Second information is about Edison and third information is about Jordan, right? So I can get more than one employee information with the help of array of structure. If not, I can also go for slice of structures, right? So if I say I want to create a dynamically in, uh, uh, information about dynamic information about an employee number of employees, I'm going to decide during runtime. So let me say var n, right? So let me get input for n first and then see how I'm going to do it right i'll say fmt dot scan i'll say amberson n now here i'm going to get number of employees in n now instead of this what i'm going to do i'll be saying war emp assign i'll say make of type employee and size n so i'm creating a, a slice here right i'm creating a slice of size n with the help of make function. So let me save it and run it for you. Before that, let me clear the screen. Oops, what happened? Okay, I didn't give the type, I'm sorry. I forgot to give the type of it. So people switching from Python to other programming language, you'll find this difficulty in Python, you don't give any data type. But in other programming language, you have to give type. So, uh, so let me run this code again for you. Here I need to give n because I've given three there. It will be giving three inputs. So let me give n there. Let me run this code for you. Here I'll say two and I'll say name, ID, salary. Again, I'll say name, ID and salary, right? So you got the information. So this is how I get slice of employees it's up to you to decide whether you want to go for uh, an array or you want to go for a slice right slice i can decide the size during the runtime right this is how i create a structure and get input for it right uh, that's it for this video guys i'm done with it if you have any doubts or queries in this please comment in the comment section i'll definitely get back to you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much